What's up, everyone? Amando here with another video of mine. And today, we have the QAVULX in our hands. But today, we're not going to be going over the frame and, or introducing the QAVULX. But today, we are going to be using our t learning how to um, solder up the PDB. So, um, we're going to go over how to solder your nice XE60 p um, pigtail thingy on here as well as um, uh, solder on the Palulu. This is the 12 volt, um, six, 600 milliamp step down voltage regulator, Palulu voltage regulator. And yeah, um, we're gonna use this because we will be using LEDs. Um, so obviously the first step is to um, heat up your soldering iron and get some solder. And one thing that I find very helpful is a pair of helping hands. These are some helping hands. These are the third hand from Hobby Creek. I'm gonna do unboxing and review on this guy. Great piece of kit. And um, yeah, I just like to keep, uh, have it around to help me um, with my soldering job. So yeah, see you guys outside when we get to solder the PDB. Alrighty, so I'm outside right now. Got my nice heated up soldering iron in my hands. Got a tin it. So this is a spool of solder right here. Just gotta take it. And you know, you gotta tin the soldering, or the soldering iron. Like so, oh, that's too hot. Make sure you, your soldering isn't, your soldering iron isn't too hot or else you will fry the um, Palulu board. And frying the Palulu board is no fun, right? We have this Palulu board right here and we need to solder it onto the power distribution. So I'm just gonna take it out right now. And what's really great about this power or this helping hands is that it has these really nice convenient slots for putting your parts in. So what I'm gonna do is exactly what I just said and put in the, all my parts that I will be soldering, just like so. Now, uh, the first step is to solder it. I'm just gonna move the arms out of the way. And you have this thing right here. And how we're gonna connect it is like so. Just like that. So do you see how I did that? It pins right and just like that. See it better, there you go. And now, you just want to lie it down here. And make sure it's not crooked in any way. Make sure it's as straight as possible. So now you can solder it. So it's gonna move these components out. So I don't wanna get any solder on it accidentally. And get a little solder on it. Just clean the tip. Gotta clean the tip. Clean it. Just like so. And then go really close to it. You wanna do this fast. Like so. So, so now, done with that. And make sure it's straight, just check it again. And yeah, you're done soldering it to the PDB, only that way. Now we have to actually solder it onto the board itself like that so yeah all right so one thing that i just did a little different um is as you can see here i it's much cleaner and what i did was i took this um or toothbrush uh, soaked it in some or had put some rubbing alcohol in it and just scrub it just like that and then the yellow stuff which is called flux is like an acid that attracts um solder which is good but over time because it is acidic it will destroy um your your joints your solder joints so um that's why i took it off and it does look cooler so um now you can basically uh solder this thing up so take your palulu right here and there's there's letters right here that says that's on the Blue board and just match it up or just match it up just like how how it is like that and what I do is I'm taking this 3d printed part that I found around you can pretty much use anything from like 
cardboard or just anything with the same thickness so it can lie flat just like so. So go ahead and take that and clip it down and then take another arm and the shell goes real. Clip it down just like so and apply the solder. Nice and quick. Done. Just fix your solder jobs if you made any screw ups like I did. So there you have it. It's all soldered up nice and neat. There's see that gap? Make sure it's all nice and flush down on the board. Very nice and secure. Just go over with the magnifying glass and just look at any mishaps or any, um, if you put too little solder or you put too much solder. All right, so I just went over the magnifying glass and found that I did a little screw up and fixed it. Make sure none of the pads are touching each other because you do not want those things to short. And then what you want to do is, because you see right there, there's a little cone, right? A nice little cone right there. You want to snip right over the cone, just like, just like so. There you go, it's cut. There you have it, my bad. And then you want to take your brush again and just gently um, scrub over that to remove any of that flux. And now we can start putting, um, what is it called? Solder on these pads just for, um, so you don't have to do it in the future. We're just prepping the PDB right now. I guess that's what you can say. So, take a clean solder iron. Tin it. And then, you want to basically put some solder on that bad boy. Like this. And then, it's got solder. Follow through. You want to make a little bubble. That's what you want. If you don't have a bubble, you're either putting it too much or too little. All right, so now as you can see, I'm all done. And as you can see, there's that yellow stuff again. Bad yellow stuff. Once again, you want to scrub it with that, what is it called? Uh, this stuff right here, rubbing alcohol, isopro alcohol. Soak it in that stuff, or just dump some alcohol onto that. Not like the alcohol that you drink, the rubbing alcohol. And as you can see, the few scrubs, the yellow stuff is coming out. We can start um, starting on the what is it called? The pigtail, the XT60 pigtail. All right, so now what you want to do is basically cut the, uh, I guess, uh, H, um, what is it called? XT60 pigtail down very short. See how short that is? And then you want to strip the wires and then you want to twist them. Because by twisting them, you're preventing any air bubbles. And air bubbles is basically flaws in the flaws in the connection or solder joint so see how short I put it you want to make it really short because um, just make sure you check like you can put your PDB onto the frame itself and then solder on the pigtail and just test fit it first see if it can if the battery can plug into it easily and once you've done that then you can um, solder it on we need to actually put solder onto the wires. So, just open that up like that. And by putting solder in advance, it's just easier to solder it onto the, the joint that already has some solder on it. Just gotta clean the tip again. Like so. And put the solder through. Probably should use a bit. You should probably use a bigger 
soldering tip, but I'm too lazy. But I recommend using a bigger soldering tip when doing this solder job. And then put some more solder on. And want to let the wire soak up all of that solder. Soak up the solder, you wire. And apply the solder. Come on, I believe in you. All soaked up. And the And release just like so and then you want to do the same make sure it's all heated up and you want to do the same for the plus so heat it up just like so oh Sometimes you need to put, sometimes you actually need to put more solder on it. So, apply a little bit more solder if it's not enough for you. Oops. Don't move it or else all your stuff will move with it. Just hold it like that. And there you have it. It's all nice and soldered up. Just like so. So as you can see, matches up the plus. I mean, the minus matches up with the what is it? The black and the plus matches up with the or the red matches up with the positive. So it should look like that. Make sure you move it around and you don't hear any cracking noises in the joint because that's um, uh, a sign of weakness. So yeah now next step make sure it cools down because it does get pretty hot when um after just soldering it and then again you want to remove the flux this flux is not good for the solder joints so just want to remove it remove the flux with your toothbrush or some towel or just anything to get that stuff off and yeah i'll see you guys back inside Alright, so I'm back inside, gotten a nice PDB in our hands. And, um, I'll turn that light on for you guys. And now we want to um, basically screw it onto the board itself. So I'm just gonna take these screws. This isn't, temp this is temporarily. It's not, we're not gonna keep these screws on. You see, the, they're very short. These are the ones that you're supposed to use for your motors. So we're just gonna use them to hold on. Or, yeah, to basically just secure the PDB into place. And the reason for that is because when we solder up the ESCs, you don't want, um, you don't want them, you don't want your, um, power distribution for moving because you might screw up on your soldering job. And it basically gives you, when you, when you put your soldering iron on the board itself, it gives you a nice little gauge on, like, Oh, I have, I need to, or let, it basically gives you a gauge, um, how much spacing you need, um, when doing, when soldering onto your, when soldering your ESCs on, so, just connect them, just like so, just like that, so, now, you know, just leave a little gap, you don't want it to be securely on there, but just like so, and as you can see, you got your nice PDB onto your frame right now. Um, it's connected by this nice little four, 14 gauge wire, I believe, or 16 gauge wire connected to a black F, F, what is it, XT60 pigtail. This is my the one that I bought separately. They have a yellow one. But because my graphene batteries are a black one, I use it. I use a, a another black pigtail. So yeah, um, I have a nice Palulu 5 12 volt step down regulator on to that frame, my frame. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, hope I hope that you guys learned a lot from this video because I worked very hard on it, and um, you guys learn how to solder on your um, what is it called your pigtail and your Palulu system. So yeah, that's for today's episode. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions or comments or need help with your QAB ULX build, leave in it, leave it in the description below. And yeah. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a next video coming next week on how to um, solder up your e your motors and ESC. So that's going to be a, a 20, hopefully not so long video, but because it is motors and ESCs, it will take a while. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Uh, oh, fudging now. I tripped over that thing. That was a pretty successful build, or video, or build video. Video build? Why am I looking at this light? Is this light even working? I don't even know. But dang, it's all done. I'm so happy that I finished the build. Just look at that beauty. Just look at that beauty. Looks so beautiful. Looks so beautiful. Just look at it. Anyways, yeah, pretty dope fresh niche. Pretty dope fresh niche. I worked real. That video was like, I haven't been starting for a while, so I was like, oh man, my starting jobs aren't the best for today. I can't wait to do the motors and ESCs because it's gonna be pretty dope fresh niche. And then, yeah, after the motors and ESCs, we're pretty much done. We just have to do the LEDs and the fly controllers. Fly controller. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Easy money. Peace.